you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to a brand new rewards video. This one's going to be a little bit different. Now, I'm going to be claiming my rewards, uh, at least my rewards specifically, I'm going to be claiming and not opening. Team of the season is tomorrow, so we're going to be claiming... Uh, mine, Sam's, and Simon's rewards, and then saving them. However, we have a new person that we're opening rewards for now, Dan. Dan actually wants me to open up his rewards today. Um, so we're going to open up Dan's rewards now. I did finish in silver one. Sadly, I genuinely couldn't get the time to play my games. And I know it sounds silly that I, I you know, I have a... A full-time job where I play FIFA. Uh, this weekend was just really crazy. Loads of things happening, but uh, I'll probably be playing, or most likely be playing, all 30 games the coming weekend, so uh, we'll have better awards then. Anyway, we've got a play pick one of three items. Oh, for Silver 1, an 86 is not bad. We will take it. An 86 rated player for Silver 1 is actually pretty decent, and it's a really, really nice looking goalkeeper. So we're going to still open Sam's and Simon's red picks, and then we're going to open up Dan's full rewards. So let's go on to some red picks. Okay, we've got Sam's rewards now. Sam, of course, finished in rank 1 in Div 1. Sam is a machine for FIFA. He's just an absolute machine and he's got some pretty dope packs now for tomorrow. I think I, he actually only finished gold one. Yeah, gold one. Um, That was per my advice, actually. I told him he should only finish gold one. Elite, probably not, unless the team of the week packs change the team of the season packs, probably not worth it. So let's go ahead and open up his gold one rewards. Come on, EA. Woohoo! Great start. 89 Bruno Fernandez. This card looks incredible. His team of the season is going to be unreal. What an amazing card he's got already. Let's go. 89 rated already. That's fantastic. Come on. Second player pick now. Come on, EA. Show us that 95 Hazard. Imagine. Ah, that's so annoying. It's actually really annoying. I mean, it's great. It's fantastic to get two 89s, but it's kind of annoying at the same time. We'll take 85 Santi Mina. What a fantastic pair of player picks, actually. That's a really, really good week of player picks. We go ahead and store those. And, of course, he's got packs saved up for tomorrow, which is great, in my opinion, that he can play and get some packs saved up. He's got two 100k packs, two mega packs, two ultimate packs. If he doesn't pack a team of the season tomorrow out of those... I'll be very surprised, to be honest. And we're going to open up a load of packs tomorrow for Team of the Season. So I'm pretty excited for that. Make sure you are on the channel tomorrow when Team of the Season comes out. Because we're going to be opening up a bunch of packs for Team of the Season. Let's go and open up Simon's play picks now. Now it's time for Simon's rewards. He finished in rank 3 in Division 1, as did myself. So 250k packs and two 35k packs coming his way tomorrow, or now, but he's going to be opening tomorrow for uh, Team of the Season, most consistent, or the Community Team of the Season. And of course, Simon also finished in Gold 1. The two 100k packs were just too good to pass up this week. Unless you could finish in Elite 1, there was just no point playing past Gold 1, in my opinion. Um, to get the two 100k packs for Team of the Season is just way more worth it. So, first player pick for Simon. Can we top uh, the rewards that we just got? And no, we cannot. Sadly, it's going to be Tyson or Tyson in the first one. Disappointing first player pick. But you know what? I mean, it's an all right looking card, to be fair. It could be a decent super sub and whatnot, maybe. Um, let's open the second one. Come on, EA. Show us that Hazard. Okay, 86 Benitez is not bad. We've had really high rated red player picks today. It's actually been really lucky. We've had some sick high rated red player picks. And of course, Simon's got a bunch of uh, packs for tomorrow. This is Simon's team, by the way. I don't think I've ever shown Simon's team on a video. Simon's got a really, really nice team. Uh, he uses this Bale, which is just... Apparently a beast card. I haven't used it, but he swears by him. Uh, he still uses Ebra, of course. Henri, who I personally am not a big fan of, really. I think that his balance really lets him down. But hey, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you think of him down below. Um, and he's got that Royce. His Royce is just unreal. So let's now go and open Dan's reward. I am so excited for team of the season. I feel like it cannot come quickly enough. Uh, promos this year have been really decent, and if EA do Team of the Season right, it could be the best promo they've done in a very, very, very long time, in years possibly. Hopefully they do it right. So, now for Dan's rewards, we have got Division Rival rewards, uh, we've got two Ultimate Packs and two Mega Packs for Rank 1 in Division 1. 
fantastic rewards, obviously. Uh, to be able to grind to rank one, honestly, is just something I can't I can't bring myself to do. But it is what it is. And we've got gold two foot champions rewards, which gives us the two player picks of four items, two rare mega packs, forty five thousand coins, and a rare gold pack. Uh, I just can't bring myself to, to grind rivals personally. The reason is is because you get a few decent games and then you play against someone that's playing one depth drop back, and it just bores me it really does bore me to death so i don't play rivals very often but here we go first player pick come on yeah show us something decent okay 85 santi mina is a very very good start we'll take that um always great for sbcs so uh very decent 85 rated card there let's go come on yeah show me that hazard imagine imagine all right, we'll take Townsend. Townsend's all right. It's actually a really nice card, in my opinion, like base card-wise. Uh, it's got, you know, some some stats in game aren't great. 73 composure, not fantastic. His balance and reactions aren't very good. Um, not great strength or jumping or anything like that. But you know what? It is what it is. I I'm sure people with cheaper teams will enjoy it. Um, but let me quickly show you Dan's team because Dan's team is a little bit like mine. It's icons everywhere. <laughs> uh, my, I've got, I think I've got a few more expensive icons, but uh, but he's got some very very nice icons in there. We actually played yesterday, and uh, let me tell you, this this Lampard is actually a really good card in game. I was very very surprised by it, and this Perez, this Perez was very good against me as well. Um, so it was a it was a, it was a decent game, and uh, his team's very nice. So let's open up his rewards now and see what we can get. Come on here, we're going to start off, of course, with the mega packs as we usually do. Um, we're going to start off with rivals and go into champs and see if we can get anything good. And we are not going to start off with a walkout. Now, I actually recently changed my monitor from uh, a 75 hertz monitor to a 144 hertz as we start off with an 85 vitzel. Great start, and let me tell you, the difference is very big. It's a very big difference. The walkouts, I have to look so carefully now because I will genuinely miss the walkouts. Damn, what a pack. 284s and 85 will take that. I actually feel like I'm going to miss the walkouts if I don't look really closely because the color depth is so different. So, uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually quite surprising how different it is. Like, like it made a huge difference. But um, I tell you, playing FIFA on it is a very nice, uh, very nice experience. Playing FIFA in like Fortnite and whatnot, very nice experience indeed, actually. It's uh, it's a lot different to a 70 hertz monitor. If I were you and you have the money to upgrade and you want to have a better experience on, on games and whatnot, I would upgrade personally. I, I have upgraded and I'm glad that I did because it's a very nice uh, very nice upgrade. So we've got the two ultimate packs now. Come on. Give us a walkout in one of these EA at least. Yes, good start. We've got a walkout. Come on. What is it going to be? Be a big card. Let's go. Come on. Belgian. Cam. It's De Bruyne. What a pack. I, I It didn't compute for a second who that was. It didn't clock in my mind who that was. I, I had no idea who that was. I couldn't I couldn't quite figure it out. But De Bruyne is a fantastic pull. 91 rated. I don't know the value of De Bruyne right now. But that is a fantastic pull. Let me see how much normal De Bruyne is going for. You know what? Footbin's not even loading right now. Let's just check on the market. He's going for over 100,000 coins. Obviously, we can't sell him for 100,000 coins, but that is a 91 rated card. That is actually phenomenal. That is a really nice card. And we got Summer in the pack as well. Is this Summer tradable? It is not, sadly. We're going to have to discard Summer. Feels bad. But you know what? What a fantastic ultimate pack. Second ultimate pack now. Come on, EA. Can we get another walkout? No walk out in the second one, but you know what? After that first pack, I am not surprised. It was a fantastic pack. And it's going to be an Italian goalkeeper. It's going to be Donnarumma. I was hoping that might have been Perrin, but it's going to be Donnarumma. 83 rated. It's not great, but when you get a huge pool like that, you don't expect anything good in the other packs. So, um, you know what? It was, it was a decent decent bit of rival rewards there. You know, we've got an 85, some 84s, a De Bruyne. Really nice rival rewards. Okay, so we're on to the champs rewards now. We've got a rare gold pack followed by two rare mega packs. No walkout in the rare gold pack. No board either. These are tradable as well. So you really want something good from these if you're uh, if you're going for the tradable packs and you want the coins from it anyway. Um, as we get in Zargi there, nice little icon. <laughs> All right, we've got two rare mega packs now. I really do like rare mega packs. These are some of my favorite packs this year. They are very good. Um, I've had some really good pulls from rare mega packs. As we do get a board in the first one. So you never know. Maybe uh, maybe these rare mega packs are going to be decent. As we get Jorginho, 84 rated, not too bad. We'll take that. I think he's got a decent value. And I'm guessing over team of the season, he's going to drop initially because a lot of people are going to open packs. But then when EA drops some SBCs, he's going to rise up quite a lot. And usually the 84s go up to like 
7k a pop which is crazy especially the premier league center mid one so that's gonna be a great pull uh, to hold on to and sell maybe in like a week or something like that so second rare mega pack not gonna be a walkout to end off the video sadly but it will be a board can we get an 85 at least brazilian left mid that's not bad 84 felipe anderson decent we'll take it great ending to that so that is it for the video if you have enjoyed leave a like down below if you are watching at this point in the video I have a Fortnite cre supporter creator code now. If you want to support me and you play Fortnite and you buy skins on Fortnite, use the code It's Not Haber, all one word. It's like my PlayStation gamer tag, It's Not Haber. Use that in the uh, Fortnite supporter creator code and uh, and tweet me a picture if you use it. I'd, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. If you, if you do want to support me, that's a great way to do it. And that is it for the video. It's a bit, bit of a different one. We haven't had too many rewards. We've pretty much just had like one set of packs and then some red pay player picks, but... Let me know if you like the speed and the difference of the video. I tried to make it just really quick and snappy and, you know, uh, get it over and done really quickly so you guys don't have to watch loads of rambling on in between the packs and you just kind of get the packs and the, and the player picks really quickly. I tried to do it in a different format, so let me know down below if you enjoy it in that way. Thank you all for watching this video. I really do appreciate the support on the channel recently. We are, of course growing by the day we are getting closer to 100k by the day and i greatly appreciate that and of course with team of the season i really hope that we can continue it so thank you all for the support and i'll see you later later